I'm going to be talking about uh, non-ideal charge transport. So what happens uh, when charge really moves throughout the MOSFET? Okay, the first non-ideal effect I'll be talking about is called surface scattering. So up to now when we've considered uh, the carrier mobility mu, uh, we've assumed it's a constant, but it's actually not a constant. And one of the factors that make uh, the carrier mobility uh, change is going to be this surface scattering effect. So let me explain uh, what I mean by surface scattering. Okay, so if we look at uh, figure 4, uh, si figure 11.8 on the left, we can see that if we apply a gate to source voltage, we are going to create an electric field uh, as shown here. Now this electric field is going to have an effect on the electrons that are moving in the inversion layer channel between the drain and the source. And so figure 11.9 on the right shows a zoomed in version of the inversion layer. So that's this area here is the inversion layer. And if you imagine an electron moving uh, from the source to the drain, so here's the electron, it will move, if, if we plot out the trajectory as it moves from the source to the drain, it's going to look like this blue line here, so it's going all over the place. It's not moving in a straight line from the source to the drain. And the reason why is because once my electron leaves the source, and it's in the channel, my electric field is going that way. So my electron wants to move up the electric field, so my electron is going to start moving upwards towards the oxide. Now when it gets close to the oxide, there might be some storage, stored charge in the oxide that could repel that electron away, so it's going to move back down. Once I move far enough away from that stored charge that was repelling the um, electron, the electric field will again take over. It's going to want to move back up, hits the, sees the stored charge, moves back down, and so forth, all while it's moving um, from the source to the drain. So it moves in this very uh, zigzag kind of fashion. So in order to figure out uh, how much this affects the electrons, we can write an equation to find what's the effective electric field uh, that the electrons are seeing and then use that to determine what the effective mobility mu sub EFF that the uh, electron will move at. So, oops, uh, this was um, the uh, original mobility that was a constant. This can be experimentally measured. Uh, e naught can be experiment experimentally measured, but you can see that um, this mobility is going to go down. This mobility is not going to be uh, as much as the mobility uh, um, that that we used for a constant before. <coughs> now. Um, you can also see as the uh, gate voltage uh, increases, um, that's like uh, increasing this charge here. So that will increase EFF, that increases this term, and this is to the negative one third. So that means that um, the effective mobility will go down. So the higher the gate to source voltage, the lower the effective mobility. So my, my electron is not going to travel as quickly between the source and the drain as we think it will.